assembled uh, or rebuilt engine, I uh, I took it apart in halves like that and brought it inside and then put it together. The son of a bitch weighs 300 pounds and I had to carry it 500 yards and it was heavy as hell. I was going to sling this over my shoulder, but uh, then I was going to dolly it. But carrying it out here was a little painful. Um, you know, it's like doing a lot of squats, and that's what it felt like. But it wasn't impossible. I didn't take a break. I didn't have to stop. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm, I don't feel... If you're in shape, it's not going to be any big deal. All right. Where is the rebuilt engine? Yeah, if you disassemble the engine and then bring it inside and rebuild it, just keep in mind, you know, how far you got to carry it. <laughs> These things are freaking, they're difficult to move around. Pretty damn heavy, too. Yeah, dogs eating. So, uh... The problem with it is that the connecting rods were bent on the number two and number four cylinders, so when I did the valve check, the camshafts were binding. In addition to that, I had a bolt inside the engine, and I didn't have to take the gears apart. There was no damage on the gears. Now, when I purchased this, somebody had put, um, somebody opened up the engine and they put brand new piston rings on. There are brand new piston rings on the front and the back. Now, when they put it in, I don't know if the damage was in there or not, but there were bent connecting rods and it caused the binding on the number two and number four cylinder right up front here. So I could not get the camshaft in once I took the, uh, once I did a valve clearance and uh, adjusted it. I couldn't get the uh, camshaft back in. I didn't know what was wrong with it. I thought it might have been the crankshaft or the bolt in the engine. Um, I took the engine out and no matter what I did, I couldn't get the camshaft back in properly. I had to untwerk it and literally unloosen it halfway. And then it would turn. Um, finally, I said, you know what? This isn't going to work. So uh, I took the whole thing out. And uh, when I took the whole thing out, I uh, noticed that somebody put the pistons on backwards. The piston and the connecting rods on all four cylinders were backwards. I checked the clearance on the piston rings, noticed they were literally brand new. So the piston rings were new. Someone put on new, new piston rings, put the piston connecting rod backwards. Front two connecting rods were bent. And I um, see they should be all facing the intake, the IN should be facing the rear on every single one of them. So the in, in on the piston right here, um, actually this one isn't, well, I know I adjusted it properly, but, uh, whatever the case, you gotta put them on a certain way. And, uh, um, I redid all four of them and, uh, checked all the bearings and everything. Everything's good. So. That's that.